have you ever f***ed for a buck? Oh, of course. And was this, was the money paid before or afterwards? Oh, before. I always get my money before. Was it discussed before? It was very much discussed before. So would you have not done it if he had not paid you? Oh, that's a good question. I have one guy that... Honestly, I would have fucked him for free. But he mm. always be like offering me money. So it's like shit, I might as well. Yeah, of you course, know what I'm saying? Of course. But yeah, every every I feel like every woman in America, every woman in the world has fucked for a buck, whether she wanna admit it or not. Yeah. Like at the end of the day, I'm a single mother. I'm a single single uh what they call it? I'm a black female addicted to retail. Okay? <laughs> And I'm I've a never single heard mother. That, but I like that. Uh, I'm a black female addicted to retail. I like nice shit. Yeah. You know, you see how I pull up. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't, I don't fuck around with the fuck around. Yeah, she pulled so, up nice shit too. Yeah. I, I, I mean, I like that shit. And one, I like niggas that like provide me with things that I like. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't degrade me. If I'm fucking with you, like I'm, I'm doing you a service. Don't. I, I would want you to want to upgrade me. Yeah. You know what I'm You're saying? You're not saying necessarily you have to upgrade me or have to pay me to do it. Because like you said, you would the fuck do for free. Right. And the reason why I asked if you have, was there ever an instance where you would have not done it if he had not paid is because today, from a man's perspective, and, mm-hmm. I, and I think that sometimes depending on the situation, right. like we can't, def- we can't find the distinction between tricking prostitution or and this is just how it should go you know what this is a good conversation i was talking about this with the girl who does my hair she's like 23 24 Mm -hmm. and she said the difference between relationships then and now is that they're more transactional today is more transactional today is more transactional like me i was in that era where i was kind of scared to ask for some money Mm -hmm. like you know what i'm saying like Yeah. yeah i just Suck the shit out your dick and fuck you real good, and I gotta go home and worry about my light bill tomorrow. Oh, now the you know the, the conversation starts with a cash app being boom, sent. yeah, cash app. You mm-hmm. want to see me? We going on a date here? Send me send me gas money. You know what I'm saying? So that's that's uh, that is such a good conversation. But so what if it's me, someone like you said, send you gas money? What if it's someone that you're really interested in, you're really attracted to, but they're somewhat stingy on sending you the money? Like they're letting it know up front, like, hey, I'm not really, I'm, I won't do that. I won't be sending you money like that. But I like you, and I want to get to know you. Would he still get a chance then? He would get a chance, but he would definitely be like on a on a like alarm type of situation, like. I'm going to give you probably about three or four hours of my, you know, my time mm-hmm. before I start realizing, like, or before you start realizing, she probably really ain't fucking with me like that. Mm-hmm. Because just off of, like, me, I like tricks, but I like to trick back. I'm a big trick. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not going to ask you for something that you can't ask me for. So then what's the difference? The difference is I want you to value me enough to know Hey, you know what? When she come through, she got her hair done. She got her nails done. She looking good. You know what I'm saying? She smelling good. This shit ain't free. Mm. It, You know, uh, female maintenance, I mean, $200 for the wig. $200 for the install. $150 for the lashes. $200 for the nails and the toes. I'm giving you a presentation. Mm. A real man, I feel like, would appreciate that. Okay. But so- if you feel like, if I keep coming to you and going on all these dates with you and you ain't... You ain't even discussing like nothing. I'm using money to look good for somebody and I'm not getting nothing out of it. But if you say, hey, you know what? I know you done had your hair like that for about a week or so or whatever and you tired of it. Let me pay for this. When we go on a date, it's nothing for me to be like, you know what? I got it. Don't even worry about it. Mm. Spoil me. Lead me and Mm. spoil me and I'll spoil you back. That's never a problem because I take pride in pleasing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Portia the pleaser. Yes, trick on me, and I will trick, trick back, back on you. We spoil each other. Yeah. That's you, it. You know what? I very much understand that perspective because you're saying, because women upkeep is very expensive. It's too expensive. So you're saying show that you appreciate the value. That's it. That's all we're asking for. That's it. Even okay. a man just saying, mm, you smell good. I don't care how people want to perceive men. A man knows cheap perfume mm-hmm. from expensive perfume. Oh, yeah. So if yeah. he tell you he smell good, he, he ain't smelling Bath and Body Works. Yeah. He ain't smelling Japanese Blossom. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? He know the difference between Dior <laughs> and Blossom. YSL and che- what is it? Cherry, Cherry Blossom, Blossom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and Beautiful Day. Right. He knows that. You right. know what I'm saying? And for yeah. a man that knows, yeah. he knows. Yeah. He knows. So... 
I feel like it's not even, it don't even have to be like cash specifically don't even have to be discussed, but just for you to pay attention and you to acknowledge what I'm putting it in, what I'm putting in to see you. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Once you do that, we on the same page. 